Hello children, welcome back to our next session. In this session, we will see how to find length and breadth of a polygon. What is the name of this polygon children? Yes, it is a rectangle. It is a rectangle. And what is the name of this polygon? It is a square. They both are quadrilaterals. A simple closed figure bounded by four line segments is called quadrilateral. In that examples are square and rectangle. A rectangle is a special quadrilateral which is having four sided. It is a four sided polygon with two pairs of opposite equal sides. With two pairs of Opposite equal sides. In rectangle, all the four sides are not equal. Only opposite sides are equal. It is a four-sided polygon with the two pairs of opposite equal sides. The measure of the longer side is called the length. Smaller side and this is longer side. This longer side in the rectangle is called length. The measure of the shorter side is called width or breadth. Longer side is called length and shorter side is called breadth or width. Width or breadth. The measure of the longer side is called the length and the measure of the shorter side is called width or breadth. Coming to square. It is a special rectangle. This is also called as rectangle. In rectangle, two pairs of opposite equal sides are there. But coming to square, where all four sides are equal. So in a square, the length and width are the same. If this is 5 centimeters, and the breadth is also will be 5 centimeters. In rectangle, if this is 7 centimeters, the breadth will be 5 centimeters or 4 centimeters less than the length. In rectangle, the breadth or width is less than the length. Coming to square, all the sides are equal. So, the length and width are same. Underline children, in a rectangle is a Special quadrilateral. What is the meaning of quadrilateral? A four-sided polygon with two pairs of opposite equal sides. Opposite sides are equal in rectangle. To measure the rectangle, the longer side is called the length. And the shorter side is called the width or breadth. In a square, it is a special rectangle where all the four sides are equal. All four sides are equal in a square. And the length and width or breadth are the same. Polygons that have all their sides equal are called regular polygons. As we discussed earlier, Polygons that have all their sides equal are called regular polygons. Polygons that have all their sides not equal are called irregular polygons. So here the square is having all sides equal. So square is a regular polygon. It's a regular quadrilateral. Regular polygon or regular quadrilateral. How do you measure this longer side and shorter sides? How do you measure this longer side and shorter side children? By using a ruler. It's practice time. A few rectangles are given in the table. Complete the table by measuring their lengths and breadths. Few rectangles are given in your practice time in your studio children. 
so you have to complete the table by measuring their length and breadth now tell me children what is the length and breadth here the longer side is called length the shorter side is called breadth you have to measure using ruler and you have to write here the measurement of this rectangle in the same way you are having few more examples so you have to complete that in your studio now think and ink draw a triangle inside the circle such that its vertices lie on the circle two of its sides are of equal length you have to draw a triangle inside the circle this is the circle and you have to draw a triangle inside the circle its vertices lie on the circle its vertices should lie on the its vertices should lie on the circle two of its sides are equal length take 4 cm or 5 cm of equal length draw two line segments with the same length and join this line segment it should be either 4 cm or 5 cm okay children its vertices did the vertices lie on the circle yes this is vertex and this is one more vertex and this is also the vertex two of its sides are equal length and the other side is different so in the same way you have to draw a triangle inside the circle such that its vertices lie on the circle and two of its sides are of equal length you can do it children yes take a ruler and do it by yourself in the same way here also you are having few more problems you have to do that second one in the first question you have to draw a triangle but here you have to draw a square inside the circle such that its vertices lie on the circle same way take a ruler and take equal length of line segments and draw a square in the circle question number 3 draw a hexagon inside the circle such that all its vertices lie on the circle in this circle also you have to draw a hexagon hexagon means a polygon with six sides a simple closed figure bounded by six sides is called hexagon you have to check that the vertices are on the circle or not you can do it children next it's question time in the figure shown name two lines two rays four line segments here is a figure children you have to name any two lines two rays and four line segments example what are the two lines line dc line ab what are the two rays children yes ray ba ray cd or ray dc or ray ab you have to name any two 
Next, four line segments. Name the line segments, children. DC is a line, but this part is called line segment. Line segment DC, line segment AB. Next, second question. Name these shapes after naming their vertices. First, you have to name the vertices. Name the vertices with capital English letters, children. Either you can start with A or B or C. Any letter you can use, children. P, Q, R, S, T, U. Children, I have named their vertices. In the same way, you have to name their vertices as you like with English letters. Okay, now we have to name the shape. What is the name of this shape? I am coming clockwise direction. P Q R S T U. What is the other name? If I start with Q, Q R S T U P. If I start with R, R S T U P Q. If I start with S, S T U P Q R. If I start with T, T U P Q R S. If I start with U, U P Q R S T. Is it clear, children? You have to first name their vertices and then you have to name the shape. Few more examples are there, you have to do it. Here in the question 3, you have to measure the length and breadth of these rectangles. Take a ruler and measure the length and breadth. The longer side is called length and the shorter side is called breadth in a rectangle. But coming to square, all the sides are equal. So, length and breadth are equal. So, take a ruler and measure the length and breadth. Complete all the activities, practice time, question time, pep activities, very neatly children. By this, we end our chapter. Lines and race. Thank you.